Hi guys, we got Unleashed Battle Packs. This is from Star Wars, the Battle of Kesh, Kesh and Felucian Heroes. We got Yoda, Allura Sinclair, Captain Tanesh, and Chewbacca here. And this is the different ones you can collect. I already did a short video on them and I accidentally pressed the stop button. When I meant to tell you who the camera button. So, uh, I was going to show you each one individually. Which now I can do because I had to start a new video. So I guess this is part two. But it's also going to be an uh, unboxing of what's in the bag. What did I get at the anti at the consignment store the other day? Mystery. Look at all this stuff. I have to do uh, unloading uh, locking of them just to get these individual figures out. That make it so hard. So the first one I got out was Yoda. Yoda! So he's jumping up in the air, got his lightsaber. Now this looks like water, but I think this stuff is invisible. Maybe it's it's like a force thing. So that's pretty cool. We got Yoda! Yoda, 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 Yoda. He's cool Jedi. So now we're going to open another one. The next one we pulled out was Aaliyah Sinclair. She was a Jedi general that led Kryllian Troopers. Female. She's a Tau... 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 I think that's what they're, they're called. Warrior. These are... Like... These are... They don't pose, but they have a good... They're already in a pose, and they have a good um, stance. Now, so that this one wouldn't have took up so much space, I would have posed her, like, wielding a lightsaber, like, maybe like this or something. Like, she's charging into battle. And I think there's ways to, to do that. Where you can kind of move an arm or something. And if you move it enough, it might stay put. <laughs> or if... Uh, I think what people, some people do to pose these non-posable characters is they move an arm. And then they take like um, a heat gun. And they put it on there for a few seconds. And then they stop and the heat gun has made the plastic melt into the new pose place. Or you could do maybe that. But eventually it's going to... So, we got the Wookiees next. Chewbacca and Captain. Chewbacca's cool. I like his pose. Stance. I like the Wookiees. Wookiees are cool. It's a shame they have to be on the Rebel Scum and the side, but Wookiees are pretty cool. I like how they also have this little belt, just like Cleons do, that hold their have this holds their pouch and they put their like medals, uh, victory medals and stuff on there, like the Cleons do. It's pretty cool. I like how they have crossbow and primitive type weapons, like Native Americans. And stuff do and I like how they're basically the Sasquatches of the Star Wars galaxy and they're primitive like um, Native Americans just like they kind of remind me of Ewoks too I wonder if they're related to Ewoks because Ewoks are, are kind of fuzzy little furballs that are like they're, they're like about see they're about Yoda's size because uh, he's small well a Wookiee will actually be about nine feet tall. I think they're 
uh, average is about nine feet tall and they're a little they're a little taller than a human they're about two to three feet taller than a human their maximum height is nine feet I believe maybe ten while a human's maximum height is usually about six feet on average, on average. so we got Chewbacca here and next up is Captain Tanesh, I think. This is Captain Tarful. I like how these are sculpted. They are they're very detailed. They have a lot of paint. Good detail and everything. So that's pretty cool. So we got two Wookiees. Oh, we got a Jedi and two Jedi Knights. And we got them storming in the battle. And that's been unleashed. Battle packs. Battle cash. 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 But there's more because I was going to do this mystery bag, but I didn't know they had a little product catalog so instead I will look at the product catalog and I will um, check it out all right Star Wars product catalog from Hasbro what kind of stuff they got oh yeah they have the Star Wars Transformers more than meets the eye Star Wars Transformers crossovers there are really are crossovers because not only do they have Transformers, but they have a little Micro Machine figure. So it's like crossover with Transformers, crossover with Micro Machines, and crossover with Star Wars all rolled into one. Heck yeah, that's cool. We had Dark Vader. He converts from TIE Fighter to Dark Sith Lord. We have General Grievous. Converts from wheel bike to droid commander. Then we had. Yeah, it's cool how each includes pilot figure. Then we have Luke Skywalker converts from X Wing fighter to Jedi Knight. Got Darth Maul converts from Sith infiltrator to Sith Lord. We have Boba Fett. Converts from Slave 1 to Bounty Hunter. Your favorite Star Wars heroes and villains in a collection of mode-changing figures. That is definitely more than meets the, uh, the trans Star Wars tra Transformers. And then we got Obi-Wan Kenobi converts from Starfighter to Jedi Master. If you have any of these, and you have a video showing any of these, Comment down below and put a link uh, in the description. I will watch the videos of them because I think they're cool. Now we also have the three and three fourths figure collection. We have people like a. We have focus fire speeder pilot. Lashris Defone, Clone Commander Cody, Anakin Skywalker, Clone Trooper, Holographic Ka Ade Monde, Obi Wan Kenobi, these are from the Clone Wars, Falmondo Dama, General Grievous, A Sand Trooper, Darth Vader, Garandian, Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, Mama 
Momal Nadun R5D5 and Hem Dizen. These are from the classic trilogy and this is from the Clone Wars movies. But wait, there's more. Like the three and three force vehicles. Like you have Anakin Skywalker's Jedi Starfighter. You have Mace Windu's Jedi Starfighter. Which is basically the same Starfighter, but one's purple and one's yellow. Hey! <laughs> Grievous's Will Bike. Darth Vader's TIE Advanced. Then you also have Anakin Skywalker slash Darth Vader's Color Change Blade. Obi-Wan's Kenobi's Electronic Lightsaber Force Feedback Vibration. Yoda's Electronic Lightsaber's Training Mode. Darth Vader Voice Changer Mask. Oh yeah. Clone Trooper Blasters. General Grievous's Blaster. For Roleplay. Cosplay. Roleplay. More Roleplay. Roleplay. Cosplay. Roleplay. Electric Lights and Sounds. Ultimate Lightsabers. Build your own lightsabers. Those are cool. Ultimate lightsabers. With 20 plus pieces. They're still doing that today with other little things. Then we have Galactic Heroes Star Wars Edition. Head for the stars and get into the hyperdrive fun of Star Wars with these giant figures and vehicles. I like the Galactic Heroes stuff. I think they're pretty cool. They got Han Solo and Luke Skywalker on Hoff. They got a scout trooper with a speeder bike. They got Luke Skywalker with a speeder bike on Endor. They got Darth Maul and Obi-Wan Battle. They got Battle Droid and Clone Trooper. They got Emperor Palpatine and a Shock Trooper. They got the land, a land speeder. Converts to a swamp crawler. Includes Luke Skywalker figure. Then they got the X-Ring Racer, which also converts to an X-Ring Fighter. Includes Luke Walk, Skywalker figure with lightsaber. So they're kind of like Transformers, but not, but not that much. Probably like easy, easy Transformers. And now we have what we just unboxed and uh, showed off. We have Unleashed Battle Packs. Now the greatest Star Wars battles are at your fingertips. Each awesome miniature sculpted. Scaled, sculpted, captures the raw emotions of each hero, villain, soldier, and commander in the heat of battle. With exciting details, four incredible warriors in each pack. We have the Battle of Utah, which looks like it has General Grievous and Obi-Wan Kenobi. A clone trooper and a, one of those mag, manga warriors. We have battle droids, which we have... Two regular battle droids, a super battle droid, and a droidica. Roger, roger. And we have the battle of Kesh, which is what we just opened, which has. You know what it has because uh, we just opened it. Then we have Cash and Felicia Warriors, which are all. Um, oh, no. The, there's. Oh, okay. There's three Battle of Clash figures, groups. There's Cash and Felicia Warriors, which is what we just opened. There's Wookiee Warriors, which you get four new, more Wookiees, which I wouldn't mind having. They're pretty cool. And then you have the Battle of Felicia, which you get four more clones, troopers. Yoda led the Yoda led the clones led, led Wookiees on Cash and um, Alia Sinclair led clone troopers with her own Felucia and you get the Alia Sinclair's 327th Star Corps but wait there's more there's the a tactics battle figure game. Last one standing wins a tactics battle figure game. 
Begin with starter set. It includes five figures in a CD-ROM and a secret figure set. Build your squad with booster packs, which include three figures. I actually have a couple. Uh, I actually have a couple of these figures, and I wondered what they went to. Now I know that they go to the Tactics Battle Figure game. Here's stuff you have like clone troopers. Basically, they all, for the most part, seem to have some gun that has a projectile. Interesting part is all every time I find one, which I'll, I'll pick them up every time I find them at thrift stores or whatever, I never find the projectile beam launcher with them. It's always gone. It's like kids played with them and lost all the projectiles. And here's a checklist for the three and three quarters figures. So that's cool. And that was been Star Wars Unleashed Battle Pack. Battle of Cash, Cash and Felician Warriors. Yoda, Captain Tanash, Chewbacca, and Alira Sinclair. And their book. Remember, God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Keep on gaming. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Keep on collecting. And uh, everybody have a great, wonderful, amazing, awesome, super cool day. Later, guys and gals. And.